right, so we're going to be going through the solution for the example problem presented in class today. Um, in the example problem, we were given some parameters for a rapid mixing, flocculation, and sedimentation reactor for a water treatment system. We were provided with the following information. For the sedimentation basin, we were also told that the length of the effluent weir along the four channels at the end of the tank is equal to 1,260 feet. The design flow rate for the system is equal to 40 million gallons per day. And we were asked to calculate the major design parameters used to size these units based on the design flow and to compare the calculated values to the standards that were provided in lecture. So, to start solving this problem, let's first convert the units so that we're all working, we're working with all units in feet or cubic feet. Let's start with the rapid mixing basin. So with the standards, design standards, we're told that the retention time, T, must be less than 30 seconds. So here we just want to calculate our theoretical hydraulic retention time given the dimensions of the system as 855 cubic feet divided by 3,710 cubic feet per minute, and we will multiply that by 60 seconds in a minute. That'll give us a value of 14 seconds. So our retention time in the, in the rapid mixing chamber is 14 seconds. 14 seconds is less than 30 seconds, therefore we can say that this is in line with that particular design requirement. All right, so what we want to look at here is the detention time and we want to look at the horizontal velocity because those are two parameters that are specified in the design criteria. So for the detention time, we can calculate that by calculating the volume, 140 feet times 58 feet times 14.5 feet divided by 3,710 cubic feet per minute. Same equations as we used before. What we get here is a value that's equal to 32 minutes. For the horizontal flow velocity, we can calculate that as the flow rate divided by the area. Now which area is this? This would be the cross-sectional area. So if we've got a flocculation basin with a depth of 14.5 feet, a width of 140 feet, we should get a value of 1.8 feet per minute. So in the design criteria, the overall retention time should be greater than 30 minutes. And also the horizontal flow velocity we know should be between 0.5 and 1.5 feet per minute. 
So if we look at our values here, we can see that we're okay in terms of the retention time, but the horizontal flow velocity is too fast. So for the sedimentation basin, we want to know what the sedimentation time is, and we want to know what the horizontal velocity is. So again, sedimentation time, same equation we used in the previous two examples. For sedimentation basins, we also want to calculate two additional parameters, the weir loading rate and the overflow rate. So for the weir loading rate, what we're doing is taking the flow rate and dividing that by the length of the weir, which gives us a value of 32,000, and the units here would be gallons per day per foot. Last calculation is to look at the overflow rate. All right, so the overflow rate is equal to the flow rate divided by the surface area. That gives us a value of 1,020 gallons per day per square foot. All right, so for the sedimentation basin, we've got four parameters that we're looking at, just based on the flow rate and the dimensions. And we can compare these to the design criteria presented in the lecture and find that three hours is less than four hours, which is the recommended time. 1.6 feet per minute is greater than 0 0.5 feet per minute. 32,000 gallons per day per foot is less than 20,000 gallons per foot, which is the design guideline. And we can do the same with the overflow rate.